Hello, Internet Nation. Alexander here. Super upset. This is my second time filming this. The first time I couldn't find my razor. Still can't find my razor, but I have this thing. So, uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing of this package I just got like half an hour ago, one Luxaria video ago. It's from Amiyami. And there isn't much in this in this box. Man, this thing sucks. I miss I miss my razor. I don't know where it is. It's just a wild razor. Somewhere in the room. How many people did I give anxiety cutting it like that? This is my, uh, August... Yeah. No, there's no address on that. This is my August orders. I don't know which one I'm more excited for. First up, we have this guy. You know who this guy is? I don't. No, I'm kidding. I don't know how I feel about this, uh... So, this guy I pre-ordered because I figured he would be a cool Nendo to have, and I figured the character would grow on me by the time it came out, which he did. And then I have this figure. You can see me in the box. I have this figure. I was kind of excited for this. This is my first scale figure. I think that's what they're called. And I'm going to open this one first. I just, just look at it. Look at that face. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. He's so precious. And it's just such a cool pose. I just had to. It was only like 20 bucks. So why not, you know? What's what's 20 bucks? That's less than I pay for for my drugs. That's oh, got more tape on it. I got the boy. Boxes on boxes. Okay, there's nothing important in here. Look at that boy in that box. Eat. Alright. Did not realize I would have to construct him. I like how his spiky ass head is just in a box. Well, my bro said something. I don't know what. Oh, he made faces. So he comes in this bag. As you see here. It's falling out of the bag. I don't know what this is for. Here's his torso and his pelvis. Can I just not drop it, but stick it together? And does this go in his butt? Yeah, it goes in his butt like this. You just stick it in his booty. And then I guess I can stick this. I was wondering if he would come with the stand.
And then you just pop his cute old face and his muscular ass neck out. Yeet. Double yeet. And stick his head in his high ass collar as he was his winter Bakugo. And there's your boy. Your boy Guzma. I'm not looking at his butt. There's like a words on the back of his boot. I think it's the model. Not the model, the maker. This is really cool. I love the details on his back. They really like emphasize those back muscles of his. As you do with our boy Bakugo because he is a very muscular boy. And now... I'm going to put this where he truly belongs, right here. Yeah. In front of this beautiful picture of himself and above the manga. Everything will be organized one day. Maybe now I should- ow. Oh jeez. Maybe now I should put his Nendo up there. And this is gonna become the Bakugo shelf. Now I'm gonna unbox the Gojo. He has finally arrived and he can protect Megumi from Sukuna. Because I don't have Yuji. I have Sukuna. Sadly, Yuji is never in stock. He was in stock at Crunchyroll three days ago, but Crunchyroll ain't told me, so I suffered the consequences. My water smells like turtle. I don't know why. Come to think of it, maybe I should have bought uh, an extra stand, another one of Yuji's stands for Sukuna. But here's your boy. Let's take him out of his prison. I love the detailing on his hair. It's like white and blue. Look at the boy, not at me. I probably should remove all the plastic first. And there go his legs. Look at the boy. Can we focus just a little bit? No? Do we need more better lighting? Oh, uh, well, we don't have that today. We just have this impromptu unboxing because I was feeling like taking a nap, but I wanted to record an unboxing. You, you, you can focus on me now, bro. Look at your boy. I'm sorry, I lied so hard and so fast. I told you to focus and then I told you to look at your boy. He is a cutie. And now does he get his own body? I'll be right back. I returned with the accessory bag. I mean, it's mostly called the accessory bag, but it's more so like a spare parts bag or a parts bag. I don't know what color this body is, but it's not his color. And I think that is the only spare body that I have. This one's fake. This one in a bag. This one is cream. It's not his color either. 
I don't think there is an android body that matches Gojo. This one has a nom taken out of the foot. I was wondering if anybody was using that body. The nom body. Nom body. Huh. So I guess our options are cream and peach. I don't think this is almond milk. Yeah, this is peach. So I guess in the face of cream and cream or peach, we'll go with cream. Back in the bag with you. It bothers me knowing that like under his his face, under his uh, mask, it's just this face. It's just full squee, all squee all the time. All squee all the time. And then you put it on his, his fucking mask on and he looks all serious and businessy. is just falling apart as I'm doing this video. Everything is falling. I'm making messes everywhere. We're about to dress our boy. If you don't like what I put our boy in, let me know in the comments. I don't have a lot of boy clothes though. My bad bro. That was all me. Maybe... black shorts no I don't know you may have to cover this chomped leg so I don't think no you can wear shorts I'll just put some socks on you So like, uh, Juj Jujutsu Kaisen is very popular anime, you know? And anytime they have popular animes, they usually like, milk the fuck out of them. Good small company usually milks the fuck out of them, let me speak in, in full sentences. But like, I feel like optimal milking is when they make Nendoroid dolls of characters and I feel like it would just be so rad of them to make Nendoroid dolls of the Jujutsu Kaisen characters. It would be relatively simple because you know most of the students wear a uniform and it's not that different from one another so that you wouldn't have to be making like two different outfits for them you know? And that's two as in T-O-O, -O, not T-W-L. Because you would, in fact, have to make at least two, being the girl uniform and the boy uniform. And then from there you can make, like, Sukuna if we ever get him. Maybe Gojo can wear the cool leather jacket. Yeah, let's put the leather jacket on him. But he needs a shirt under the leather jacket. Actually, no, the leather jacket zips up, so... Give me back the mochi. He's wearing a leather jacket and shorts. I mean, I guess he is chaotic neutral enough to, like, 
get away with wearing a leather jacket and shorts. But you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. He just can't be naked. I mean, he can be, but like... He's on the internet now, so he shouldn't be naked. You can have your mochi back, bro. I'm sorry, does he not have like a regular open left hand? Are there more hands in the bag? He doesn't really have, like, an open left hand. He has a bald fist. A hand like that. And even this left hand has gone like that. And then the other left hand is to do his, uh, domain. And then in the pocket. I know, right? Worst unboxing ever. <laughs> But let's take this hand, and he's gonna need a bag. I can't wait till next month. Actually, no, I have another package coming in. Earlier, when I said that this was my April pre orders, I lied. This is my July pre orders. They just waited till April to ship them and charge me for them and all this fun stuff. But, I have a lot of exciting things arriving in September. And then, not September, I mean, I do have exciting things arriving at September, arriving at, arriving in September, but, like, I also have a lot of exciting things arriving in August. That's what month this is. Look at my boy. He's wearing clothes now. This little collar was popped. I've been rather conflicted lately because I've been buying bodies from Chibi Chop Shop. And lately they have been selling a lot of like random bodies that they get from precarious places. I found that a lot of the bodies that I buy from them have a hard time standing up on their own. They usually have like weak knees. And all this jazz that I find that I didn't sign up for weak knees. And I also find it extra, like, uh, capitalistic that their prices have been inflating lately. And I mean, you know, they're a business. They can charge whatever they want for items. But at the same time, I think it's a little crazy to just be intentionally inflating the cost of popular items. Like, for example, uh, Sal Seal? Is his name Seal? Seal and Berg. The two Nendoroid, the Angel and Devil dolls, they came out recently, and Chibi Chop Shop got them in stock. But, like, they. Apparently, the body on. Man, just. This is not the right color body for him. Apparently, the bodies are almond milk, which is the most popular color for Nendoroid bodies because it matches most it matches most nendoroids but they have it listed for $25 when they usually have the like just the bodies by themselves listed for around $20 which like before they were doing it maybe like 15 something dollars less if like it was damaged like this body here for example which I'm definitely I have a bunch of bodies pre-ordered so a bunch of people are getting up upgrades because a lot a lot of the bodies sorry i've been talking for a while and my tongue is going crazy because i just had therapy before this too 
But a lot of those bodies have like a lot of defects, even like the regular ones. Like this one was specifically listed to have a defect on the uh, his ankle, where he has that little nom nom. But like the other ones are just just supposed to be regular bodies. But then even them have like weak ankles and don't want to stand on their own. How much I want to bet before he falls? I give it like five minutes if I'm even recording that long. But, I don't know yet, because then at that point, it's just, it's it's more so worth it to just wait for the pre-orders. I think they come out in September or October. I don't think it's December or November. I think it's relatively soon. Actually, no, I lied. I think it's January. We'll look it up. I don't know if it matters anymore though because pre-orders have been, I think pre-orders have been closed for a while now. Either way, bodies are coming out soon and it's about $20 for like the body with everything that it comes with. That's like the stand and hands and all that stuff if you buy it from most retailers. So why pay $25 for just the body, especially when they're like usually defective and it just seems a little malicious especially considering like they mostly sell to the customization people I mean like people who customize and androids as well as people who want to like replace parts that they lost or like you know just buy the faces and the heads for Nendo so that you can do like what I do because most of the time the other pieces go into a box or into a bag and then they barely get used like the body parts for specific characters not sure Goju might eventually end up back on his regular body but this dude right here just stays on my desk constantly in this body you know uncool buddy uncool But anyway, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you learned a little something. If not, thanks for watching my video. Till next time, know that you were loved by this guy. As well as this guy. Aww. Bye.